Hi guys, so as you can tell from the title, I am making myself have a glow up today. Um, I have turned into just a slob. I'm up at my parents' house. I've been here for a week. I came up for Thanksgiving. And after a few days at my parents' house, I kind of just turn into a slob, sweatpants, fuzzy socks, hair and bun. It's freezing outside, so I don't even want to like get dressed and go outside. I and mean, it's not that cold. It's like 50 degrees out, but it's a lot colder than it is in Southern California. And I also haven't been doing a whole lot except just hanging out and like decorating for Christmas. So I have turned into a slob. So I thought it'd be fun to make myself become a human again today and take you guys along for the ride. So now I'm out of the shower and I already feel like 10 times better. I washed my hair, I shaved, I washed my face. I'm starting to feel like a human again. And I wanted to do a quick little unboxing. I just got two perfumes in the mail from Dossier and I have partnered with Dossier before and I'm so excited that I am partnering with them again this month. They are one of my favorite perfume companies and I think they just are amazing. It is a brand that reproduces classic high-end and luxury fragrances at a fraction of the price while still maintaining the quality of the scent and the perfume. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. It's so cute and on the inside it says the fair alternative to luxury perfumes made in France, risk-free order, vegan and cruelty-free and clean ingredients, which I love. And one of my favorite things about Dossier is the risk-free order. And it's also really great if you get it for someone as a gift too with the holidays coming up because each Dossier purchase comes with a sample of the fragrance. So you can use this whole sample, try it out, see if you like the way it wears on your skin. And if you don't like it, you can send it back for a full refund. So that's really awesome. And I don't think there's any other companies that do that, which is cool. So yeah, like I said, if you don't end up liking the scent, which I feel like is highly unlikely, you can return your full um, bottle. It has to be unsealed, but within 30 days and you get a full refund, which is really cool. I love that they stand behind their products like that. And this first scent I got is Woody Sandalwood, which is just like, I love all woodsy and like kind of earthy smelling scents. Let me get it out of here. I know I'm going to keep it. So I will undo the full. This is what it looks like. Something else I love about Dossier is how simple their packaging looks because it can look really pretty just sitting on your bathroom counter or in your bedroom. So it is supposed to smell like Santal 33 from Le Labo, which my boyfriend has. So I know what it smells like. So let's give it a go and see if it actually smells like that. It smells exactly like it. Are you kidding me? It smells exactly like it and I'm not just saying that. Okay, let's get into the next scent. I literally don't even remember which scent I picked, so I'm excited, it's kind of a surprise. Ooh, citrus green apple. I actually got this one, now I remember picking it out, but I picked it out because like a long time ago, like 15 years ago, uh, maybe longer, my sister had a green apple perfume. I think it was from Gap which is like so random now to think about, but I think it was from Gap. So when I saw that they had a citrus green apple, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try that. See if it like jogs any memories from being a third grader. I think this one's a little bit lighter. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, it does not smell like that perfume I was talking about, but I don't even know if I, actually wait, it wasn't from Gap, it was from MAC, like the makeup company. That's so funny. But this smells really good. I don't think it smells like the one I was thinking of because I didn't get any similar like scent from that. This smells really nice. I feel like this is like perfect for daytime or like 
weekend brunch and then i feel like this one is perfect for like date night or like going out they both smell super good so if you're into like more like lighter florally fruity smells this one and more woodsy musky this one for sure like i said one of my favorite things about dossier is how affordable they are their scents start at 29 dollars, which compared to like the designer perfumes is insane because as you guys know designer scents are ridiculously expensive and they smell exactly like them also they're always offering super great deals on their website if you buy three fragrances you get up to a 25 percent discount and you get free shipping so i think you should just buy everyone in your life dossier fragrances this christmas and holiday season it makes a great gift i will link my discount code and the link to their website down below i'll also put the discount code right here on the screen so definitely check them out and i know you guys will love their fragrances as much as i do okay so i'm going to do my makeup next because i like to dry my hair when it's almost like air dried might sound weird but my hair dries stick straight so i don't really need to blow dry it like when it's still wet I like to get it almost all the way dry, so blow drying it takes like no time at all. I'm also going to do my makeup just super light today because, let's be honest, I'm not going anywhere unless I go to like Target with my mom later. Um, so yeah, and I also don't really wear a whole lot of makeup ever. And I'm just using Cetaphil moisturizer on my face. I am so pale. The lighting in here is kind of funky, but I'm like see-through pale. I was watching my bedroom vlog the other day because I was like showing it to my parents and I couldn't get over how tan I was in that video compared to now. Does anybody else get like super, super pale? I have been loving my Glossier Skin Tint um, again recently. I feel like I said that in my beauty favorites video, but I really do like it, especially because my skin has gotten a lot better. I used to have more acne and I was wearing like a more full coverage foundation um, a year ago. But I really have been loving glossy skin tint a lot. It's like the perfect no makeup makeup. And I'm wearing the shade G10. Okay, next up, bronzer. I love this bronzer. I've been using it for a while now. It's the air perez i think that's how you pronounce it and look how pretty the compact is um it's their rice powder bronzer in the shade tulum actually it's like two shades i usually use the white one more i don't know if you can hear that but my dad is doing turkey calls Alrighty, now I have a little bit more color on my face and my chest is pale, but it's fine. I'll be wearing a shirt that probably goes up higher. Do a little bit of blush. I've been using this blush for like probably too long. Alrighty, well, I have no idea where this blush is from. So if you have had this palette, let me know in the comments. I feel like it may have been Becca, but I have no idea. I've never done like a get ready with me video. And when I watch them, I actually don't know how people can like tell stories and do their makeup at the same time i feel like i never talk while i'm doing my makeup unless i'm like getting ready with a friend um i just i usually just listen to podcasts or music when i'm getting ready okay next up i do my brows i use the glossier boy brow in the shade blonde and i love this stuff if you have light eyebrows but they're pretty full that's like kind of what i'm Working with, there's like a lot of hairs, but they're just pretty light. I would definitely recommend boy brow. Just go like this. Like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know how to tell stories and do my makeup at the same time. That's like too advanced for me. But I am decorating, helping decorate my parents' house for Christmas today because um, my mom just launched her own real estate company and she's been like insanely busy. She already is like, like low-key a workaholic. Um, she works so much, but she just launched her new business. So she's like extra busy. So I'm helping her, well, me and my sister, 
and our friend Savannah is here also. We are helping her kind of organize the house and get ready for Christmas because she literally does not have time to. So that's why I'm staying up at my parents' house a little bit longer than just Thanksgiving. But it's really nice being up here because um, I moved out right after high school, like literally graduated in June and then I moved seven hours away in July. So I like haven't spent a whole lot of time here since I was 18, except for like holidays. But this year I've come home a lot, except for at the beginning of COVID when we had like way stricter lockdowns. I didn't come up here for like six months, but I've come up a lot in the past few months, which is really nice because I mean, none of us are like traveling. So it's nice to get extra family time. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Um, then I do a little bit of brown mascara. I'm really not much of a lipstick or lip color person unless I'm like going out to dinner or like going out. Um, I just never really have been, ever. So I'm going to put a little bit of Aquaphor on my lips. And that is it for my makeup. It still smells so good in here since I spritzed those perfumes. Okay, so now I'm going to blow dry my hair. I am using the Revlon like blow dry brush thing. I don't know exactly what it's called. I think it's like the like one step or like all in one or something like that. I will definitely link it down below, but I love this blow dryer brush thing. It makes your life so much easier. I wish I knew about this years ago or I wish they invented this years ago because it's incredible. dressed and then I think I'm kind of done with my little makeover um I feel a million times better than I did when I was wearing sweatpants and had my hair in a bun and um I highly recommend um getting ready you feel a lot better about yourself <laughs> when you do okay I'm gonna get dressed Alrighty, so I got dressed I'm wearing this super cute it's kind of the lighting in here is like just weird, so it looks a little blown out, but how cute is this argyle colored vintage sweater I got? I am obsessed with it, and then I threw a headband on for a little bit of extra preppy accessorizing, and then I just have these, oh my gosh, you can't even see, vintage jeans on, and yeah, thanks again Dossier for partnering with me on this video. Definitely check them out, you guys. Um, they smell incredible. Actually, I'm going to spritz them on me right now. Smells so good. Literally smells exactly like Le Labo Santal 33. It's like kind of trippy. Um, but yeah, check them out because I know you guys will love their fragrances. 
Um, but yeah, if you guys feel like you've been in kind of like a lazy, sloppy funk because of quarantine or the lockdowns or just kind of being lazy because of the holidays, try getting ready. You feel so much better. But now I'm going to make my sister take some Instagram photos for me because I mean, I did get ready anyway, might as well. Um, but yeah, that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And let me know down below what you wanna see from me next time. I think I'm gonna try to film some vlogs soon because I know you guys really like when I vlog. Alrighty, that is it. I will see you guys next week.